Forms and programming. We're going to set up an exercise where we're going to create a list book box and an input box and we're going to have them interact with one another. We're going to have a message that will input information into a list and from that list it will actually be displayed in a list box. I've set up a um, named range here, some made up name, and as you can see the last three cells there don't have any information in them. We're going to set up a list box so it actually sets up the information into this. This was called some made up name. I'm going to select that some made up name and press control C. I've copied that onto the clipboard. And I have got a user form over here. Now this is a list box and this is a command button. This list box, I'm going to change my row source. So I go down to row source and I click on here and I press control paste, control V, some made up name. And when I press enter, we will see that it actually adds that information here. Now it's very small here, so I'm just going to change the font a little bit so it's a little bit bigger. We'll make it bold and we'll make it 10 maybe. And you can see it's a little bit easier to see. We might even make it a little bit bigger. Let's go to 12. And as you can see, it's a little bit bigger. We'll just make it, make the list box a little bit bigger. And so when I run that, it actually shows that information there. At the moment this command button does nothing. What I want to do is now I want to create an input box. So I double click on the input information and I'm going to declare a variable called dim add information as string. We're going to now add information. So we add information equals input box, open brackets, please add information now. And so now we're going to put that information into this these cells. So what we're going to do is we're going to find the bottom of this list, and go back up to there and add the information into the cell. Our named range, which happens to be called some made up name, actually only goes down to cell D15. So what we need to do is we need to select that cell, go up to the information, the first cell that has information in it, then select the next cell down and add the information in there via the variable. And then the next time it'll do that, it'll go down to the next one, and the next time it'll go down to the next one. So how do we do that? We actually do it, if we go back to here, we actually do it with this little formula. It's worksheet sheet one, range D15, dot end XL up, dot offset, one comma zero, dot value equals add information. So our add information from the input box actually goes into that cell. So let's have a look at it. This command takes us to cell D15. This command takes us up from cell D15 up to the cell with the nearest information and it selects that cell or it, it goes to that cell. This command actually offsets that cell down by one and then this command adds the value for add information. Let's see this run. So add information, hello, press OK and as you can see it automatically adds it in here. I do it again, couch and it does it automatically in there. I try it again, boo, and it does it again. 
The next problem, of course, is once we get down to the cell range, it won't do it like that. So let's see what we can do. Press input, house. And in this case, it's actually randomly selecting it up there. But the point is that we, in another video, we'll show you how to extend this range.